Welcome back to Library Choice YouTube channel. Today we'll be learning how to make a ruffle skirt. Okay, it's going to be a pencil skirt and it will have a ruffle design pattern. So I have the skirt drafted already. So now the ruffles can be drafted in front in form of a straight cut like this or in form of a flounce. We've had many flounce tutorial on the channel already, so I'm sure by now we understand what I mean by flounce. So for this tutorial, I'll be cutting this in a straight cut because flounce consumes more fabric and you need a lot of fabric for this project. So now I'm using a 5 inches flounce like this, which means by the time I fold this into two, it's going to give me two and a half inches. Okay, if you want yours to be more than that, you can increase your measurement. So now that I folded it, the next thing I'm going to do is to serge this place so that all these uh, frills will not be showing. So once you set it, you just run a gather stitch on it and then you gather it to have something like this. I hope you understand. It's very simple. Once you have it like this, just run your stitches, loose stitches, and then you'll be able to gather it. So now I've gathered some and I have something like this. I'm using a leftover fabric so it may not be able to fill up my pencil skirt but i'm just going to take a pattern that just from a particular design the most important thing is for us to get how to do this and place it because this is actually a request from a subscriber in my instagram okay so now that i have this ruffles it's advisable for you to have a long growth so you can actually join them together instead of having them in pieces like this but because i'm doing a tutorial and i want to show us different placements that we have that's why i prefer to have it separately like that so now this is our skirt you can place your ruffles anyhow you want let's say we want to do like a an horizontal placement you just need to place a ruffle from one hand to another you can rule lines just to guide you and then once i have this i'm going to bring it back and then continue my ruffle like this very close to each other so that there will be no the this this other edges that i gathered will not be showing so once i have this i'm going to take the next one and then i also place it like this and then i'll continue gathering and placing my ruffles close to each other and then filling up the space that i want okay so now you what you just need to do once you place it like this you take it to the sewing machine and then you sew it down but you can add interface to the surface that you're going to sew it on remember it's going to be a lot of work on the surface so you may want to add the interface to strengthen it you can see how our ruffles is coming out now so if you don't want to do this it can also be placed in a vertical order by just pressing from top to bottom like this once you reach the bottom take it back and then you place it again like this close to each other so that it doesn't show the rough edges and then you take the next one you place it then take another one and then you continue placing it like that till you fill up your desired space as you can see how it's coming out another design you can do you can just do like a spiral in each of the you can divide your skirt into two then form a spiral like this in two places and then from the center you keep on rolling it rolling it rolling it underneath each other like this to form whatever design is it that you aim to form okay it doesn't have any specific way you have to use your fruits you just have to be very creative about it so we have something like this it can be bold we can fill up this whole space and this will be on one side and then you take you go over to the next edge and then you repeat the same thing so it's totally up to you so for me because it's not going to be enough to fill up my whole skirt i think i'm just going to do something around the middle maybe just create a spiral effect around the middle which i'm going to follow like that okay 
So if I have this as my base, I'm just going to be filling up in between. So I'll take this to the machine now and then sew it round. Then after sewing my first layer, I'll take the next one also and then I'll, if I, assuming I have enough, but because this is just a tutorial and I just want to show us how to do it and if this is it's not like I want to make this for somebody or anything so I'm just going to make do with what I have okay so now I'm just going to be creating this kind of pattern at the center and then I'll be sewing it as I'm placing it I'll be sewing it down like that till I fill in all the space and as you can see it has to be close to each other for your ruffles to be well formed so now how you drag your ruffle is also important for me i drag this very close because i really want it to be full and my fabric can take it so the closer it is the fuller the ruffles you are going to be getting okay so i think this is the design i'll be going for I just put it at the middle and the rest that I have, I can just find somewhere to place it underneath it if I still have excess after pleating my ruffles. I hope you understand this. So now I take it to the machine and then sew it down before I now join my back panel to our skirt so that we will see what it's going to look like. I see how beautiful this looks already okay so as you can see it's also now so like in the picture case of the picture that was sent the frills filled everywhere so if that is what you want you just need to do more gathers and then you just use it to fill up the old spaces but because I have small I just use this to create a little design here so now I'm going to place the back pattern on the skirt now and then I take it to the machine and then sew it then we we'll attach our zipper and the skirt is ready okay so I've gone ahead to sew this back together and this is the back part of the skirt just need the zipper here and then this is the front okay so I'm going to take it to the mannequin so that we can see what it looks like okay so this is the skirt and the mannequin I can see how lovely our uh, first comb came out okay so it depends on the style that you're going for you can do whatever style that you wish to do either vertical horizontal or triangular anything that you want just know that you need to get enough fabric to make your first that's all and you can put it both front and back depending on your choice thank you for watching our videos thank you for subscribing to our channel if you haven't subscribed to the channel you want to click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you can notified anytime we upload new videos see you in the next one bye